so today instead of um instead of doing a chess opening i thought i was gonna start a series where i play people that are probably about your level and show you actually show you how to beat them <coughs> so our opponent plays d4 i'm gonna play d5 Knight to f3, that is an absolute trash move. <laughs> Look at this dude. Um, and I'm just gonna play, like, normally play the copycat London. I'm just gonna, like, copy him. <laughs> And also, this guy's not playing too bad, you know what I'm saying? This guy's not playing too bad for a 100 rated player. The question is, should I take? I'm gonna not take, and instead I'm gonna play bishop d6. Now I will take because they're threatening to win a pawn. You gotta make sure to see <clears throat> um, the uh, you gotta make sure to see when they're threatening to win a pawn when they form a battery like that. It's a pretty common thing. I'll play queen d6, getting my queen out, and also attacking the pawn on f4. He's actually pretty likely to blunder that. So yeah, see? See, look at this dude! And he's actually playing pretty well, to be honest, for a 100. Let's see. I'll, I'll castle short because I'm going to do a pawn storm, or at least I'm going to try to show you how powerful that can be. Hurry up. See, so yeah, I mean, I was kind of wanting to go queen d6 anyway. So, yeah. Stupid. <laughs> Oh wow, he's actually pawn storming me. Jeez! I mean, that blunders a pawn, but you know. And also, um, he could play, like, he, he needs to do rook f2. Ooh. Ooh, that's not good. That's really not good. If his queen was on, like,. I don't know. <laughs> Some square that was attacked, but also attacking G7, then that would have been a problem, because I would have blundered me. But uh, he, he. Wow, that's a really interesting move, because not only does that blunder another rook, but that also just hangs a queen with check, and. Now, it's going to be very, very simple. Because <laughs> I'm just going to destroy this guy. Oh, I could try to sack on B... I could try to sack my knight on B4. But... Actually, wait a minute. Is there any other way I can... Oh, I can just go back here. My knight was almost trapped, though. And now I am up 14 points of material. So this, this should be simple. Just get the stuff in. He's really trying here. But... He's not succeeding, I'm just gonna play b4. That's 
an interesting move. Just taking there. So now I'm up 16 points of material. I'm gonna take that. Open up the B file. I can't do that, sadly. But I'm gonna go Rook B8. And the game will probably end very soon. He, he's, he's trying. But he's not trying hard enough. I wonder if knight e5 is possible. Uh, I'm just gonna play this, actually. Oh, I should have played. I should have played. Oh, wait, no, I can't play queen takes d4. <laughs> well, it's a good thing I didn't do that then. Wow. Okay. Um. Hmm, I can't actually give any more checks. Well, I mean, there's this. But that doesn't really accomplish anything. I'm just gonna go G6 because, like, you'd be surprised at how often you can blunder, like, if you just ignore that. So you, you always want to take when stuff like that, or just push when stuff like that happens. But now I'm up 21 points of material. And it is mate. Wow. Okay. Wow. <laughs> zero mistakes, zero blunders, zero missed wins. Nice. Oh, we got an achievement. Blitz 5, E4. Whoa, okay. Is this guy really going to try and uh, mate me? <laughs> <laughs> Should I play Knight F6? <laughs> at this dude. But anyways, G6. And then, now Knight F6. It was actually something tricky there. G4, which kind of, if you can play G5, my knight's kind of pinned. But he plays that. It's not a bad move. I'm gonna play bit. Ooh. Whew. I See, now that's not good because what you want to do a lot of the times at the low level and also at the high level is just play moves that don't allow your opponent to get what they want because a lot of the times they just can't deal with that because they're like <laughs> they're low rated wait actually did i just blunder e5 oh no 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 i didn't well actually Okay, no, 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 no. Oh, I want. <laughs> Wait, did I? There was one mistake. Did I actually? Was that a move? Probably not, because it could have just taken the queen. But <laughs> what is that? What is that? Boom. Stupid. <laughs> that that attacks your queen twice. Wow, that was a quick one. So this time we're playing with white. I'm gonna go e4. He plays the Scandinavian, so just take. And I'm gonna play knight c3 here, obviously. The uh, the regular version of the Scandinavian. And probably, like the beginners, yeah, they play queen e5 check for some reason. It's definitely not the best move because now I can just play knight of three and harass his queen with my knights. Yeah. So this. And now if you don't play queen a5, like, you're probably just losing. You're probably already losing, but. <laughs> Alright, so you play that. 
That is an interesting move. That's actually like one of the best moves. Like, like th th that's one of the best moves here. But you know, he plays it here. I'm just gonna go d4. Um, is d5 possible? Actually, d5 is possible. Why not? Because <laughs> it takes, 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 takes. Wow, he actually sees that d5 you can't take. So I'm just going to take this because, you know, I'm like really winning. Because I got the, the, the big boy d pawn. Oh. <laughs> I tried to move the bishop, but I forgot that it's pinned. <laughs> Stupid. But now, bishop b5 check is like huge, dude. Actually, my pawn would be pinned to my bishop if I did that. That is just a hanging of the night because... I'm surprised it took him 10 moves to hang something. But... <laughs> You know, <laughs> yikes. Now I guess I'll just move it back. I think what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to try and bait him taking it. So I'm going to go like... Bishop d2, and then I'm gonna hope he takes it, and then play rook e1. Ooh, he's smart. He, he's, he's, he's smart. I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna take it, I guess, now. Wait! Oh my god, it's... <laughs> what? <laughs> I actually just blundered mate. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's just ignore that last game because we're going to play E4 again. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, okay. Mm, okay, so he's playing the Sicilian, but in the opposite direction. I'm just going to take the full center because I can. He's playing the reverse grob. <laughs> Oh, I was hoping you'd play F6. <laughs> I'm just, I, I'm just gonna go E5, to be honest. <laughs> that laugh, though. <laughs> and then C4. This is like sometimes what you'll get in like a fantasy Caro, except the opponents play G5. So, yeah, and now I can just take that, which I think I will do because if you play F6 trying to attack my bishop, you will get checkmated. Just like I did last game. <laughs> Alright, so my man's smart. Very smart. I'm gonna play E6 because, you know, maybe he'll play F2. <laughs> oh, wait. Well, actually, it's still winning. It's not a checkmate, but it's still definitely winning. Because now he has to go King D7. King B7, King B's nuts. Now I'll play D5. Like, I just really want to just shred it. Shred it. And then, like, even Knight C3 and Long Castles. So, um... See, I would play... I'm gonna play this. 
Whoa. So that just blunders the night, and that's really dumb. Really not a smart move, not the smartest move. Does that blunder mate, actually? No, it's like really close, but it doesn't blunder mate. Well, I can still play queen f7. You have to play bishop f7, takes, takes. And then like, probably bishop b5. Yeah. But I doubt, I mean, bishop, yeah, it's not really a hard move to find. But here, and then now, here, uh, actually, yeah, I mean, he can take with the, but there's the knight defending, so I was, my plan was incorrect. But I'm still winning. You know what, I'm gonna not take to keep things interesting, but you should probably just take the queen here. But I'm gonna not take because I get the pawn back and I get check and I get knight c3 and I get long castle and like all of his pieces are on the back rank. I mean technically so will mine, but you know, I'm like, Rated four times this guy's rating. <laughs> Come on! Hoody up! I wonder if he thinks I'm playing like a sacrifice. <laughs> a sacrifice! Alright, so he finally takes. I'm just gonna go here. Knight there. Should I play Knight A for me? Now I'm just gonna play knight, knight c3. That's a good move. But you know, it's also a terrible move. I'm gonna play Queen H5 actually. Taking the B2 pawn. If he takes the B2 pawn, I play the freaking the big boss gangster move Long Castle. <laughs> that attacks his rook and the D6 pawn. I think six pawn. I could even go knight b5 instead of e4. I mean, I doubt he'll take the b2 pawn anyway. It's, it's pretty ritty. Pretty risky. Okay. Hurry up, please. <sighs> Oh, finally! Oh, it's about time! Anyway, it's Long Castle. And, yes, now it's very risky for him because I'm going to play Knight A4. And how is he gonna defend the pawn? It's, I'm pretty sure there's literally no way to defend it. Because if you play d5, I will play knight c5 checkmate. Well, not not checkmate, but like, I'm speaking in an Australian accent, so it's like checkmate. <laughs> and like... Ugh. 
and now I can play a uh, Rook D6, and then actually that's a good move. Now I will play Queen E5 since he can't take. That also attacks the Rook, so you know. Yes, Queen. But I actually still can't take it. Because the rook's defending. And the, the that b6 rook is actually, like, really good. Alright, so he just blunders this rook. Very nice. And, oh, by the way, if you're wondering, the reason why he couldn't take me here was because uh, my rook on d1 is pinning his pawn to his king. It's very important you need to... <clears throat> you need to pay attention to st when stuff like that happens. So he checks me. He's checking me out. I'll just play Rook B1. And then he does this. And now I cannot play Knight C5 because the Queen. But you know what I can do? I don't know. I can play knight to f6 as white. <laughs> that's, that's nice. That's nice! And then I can play here. Because again, it's defended by the queen. I'm not really sure what my goal is here. But, you know, yeah. I'm probably eventually going to play knight f3 and then rook e1. Oh! Queen e5! Come on! Queen e5. And he cannot take my knight because it's check. That is a supreme, supremely bad move. Because now I play this. Supreme. And I'm going to go rook c1 and then. Or, or that'll happen. This is tennis. I'll just take. I mean, I'm up. Because I'm on material. Like, I could try and go for checkmate, but, like, you know. And then I'm gonna get my rook into E1, and then I'm gonna just start destroying him. And there is no chance of him. Like, he's probably just gonna run, like, out of time, because he's currently at 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Two, one. <sighs> yeah, you see that? <clears throat> yeah. Two forty-three, baby. I'm at like what? What was that? Three to the fifth power, I think that is. Yeah. See you in the next episode.